Hi, this is Sean from Crafty Chicks Blog and MyCutSearch.com with a quick little tutorial on how to take a picture that you add a mask to. Um, you kind of turned it into your own digital scrapbooking sticker and now you want to insert that into your My Memory Suite digital scrapbook that you're working on. Um, I'm showing for this example a scrapbook that I'm making for my daughter's hockey team. Uh, I'm going to just go to a blank page to show you how to do this. Um, first, I'm just going to add a shape, like a square, because I don't feel like putting a full background paper on there. And this is a way that you could, just like in traditional scrapbooking, how we put different strips of paper across. This is kind of the same idea. If you put a square on there and stretch it so it covers the whole page, and then you click on the paper button over here, then you'll be able to go to all your papers. I have divided all my papers out by color, so then when I'm looking for a certain color, I can just go to where are my reds? Oh, there they are and then I can scroll through them and find them pretty quickly. And I love that I can click on and see a little bit of a preview over here of all of the different ones that I have. I'm going to go with this red distress paper. Click OK. So now it fills it, the whole square with that. OK, so now to insert the um, masked picture that we created, we're going to go to Embellishments and we want to add. And it's going to first bring you to all your different elements that you have in My Memory software. But we want to add one that we created. So we're going to go to Browse Other. And then we are going to go to, remember in the last video I showed you that I saved all of my altered and masked pictures to a separate folder so that I didn't um, save over the original picture. So I'm going to go to that folder, and off over on the side you can see all the different mass pictures that I've done. So we're going to go with this one. So I just want to click on, I can either click on the preview or go here and um, click on the file name. Okay, hit OK. And I close this, and boom, there it is. My picture with that softened edge and it kind of blends into the paper. If I wanted to move it off and do blue background underneath here, I could do that, whatever. But you know, as you can see, those edges are nice and soft and um, blend into that paper really nicely. If I wanted to even play around with the paper, I could probably find one that's closer to the red of their socks and make it blend even more. Uh, but that's quick and easy how you insert your own masked images that they're kind of like giant digital stickers. So have fun with that. 